Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Ruza. We're gonna continue on from last time, where we had the uh, save three. And we had just made our way into a little bit of the forest, trying to figure out the combat and everything. I have actually talked to the developer a bit, and he has taken into account some of the feedback that I have given, and some of the comments I on my video I have given. So, you know, maybe we'll see an update at some point that changes stuff. Either way, I'm gonna continue my playthrough to it. I am enjoying it so far. As much as I've been talking about the tutorials being a bit interruptive, I am enjoying it. I want to get a little bit more into combat, right? I do want to fight this. Let me fight. Okay. That's two people. But now I have my levels put in, right? I put in my levels. So maybe I'll have a higher chance. There we go. I deal one bleed now. That's something. Okay, so then... I understand how those work. I don't understand how these work, though. I'm gonna guess these are gonna get explained in the expert tutorial. Um, sure, let's do that. Okay, why does she also have bleed? This arm, not good. Hopefully I didn't lose here. Okay. That didn't inflict a bleed. Okay, she healed herself, okay. Actually, let's not do focus. What does the... Why, why do I sometimes take, sometimes take damage for what I'm doing when I... Is this things the thing here that indicates what I should be doing or not? I don't know. There, it didn't do any damage. Oh, that's because I had a different color, actually. I forgot about that. But here I should do red, right? And... Uh... Missed, okay. Look, she took damage for that. I don't get why that's the case. Drain do that. No, oh, but I had orange is my last thing anyway. There. That one's down. Drain. Here we go. It's not gonna do much because I already... Oh, okay. Well, she's probably dead. Unless I focus as well. There. We did it! Poison dart and band-aid, okay. Nice, okay, let's uh, heal up again. This restore party thing, it takes a bit, a bit too long, I feel like, the black screen, but that's, uh, that's fine. Should I go into another one? No, let's not do another one. Oh, that's a more difficult one. Uh, let's do another normal one, then. There we go. I was gonna say, let's go on the next one, and we'll, we'll do the next one, but if that one's more difficult, then let's not. Do this. Four damage and two bleed on that. Mm. Spear slash, okay. There goes her armor. Can I do drain? No, not yet. So I'll heal. Here we go. You are gonna get killed. Just a heads up. There. Now as for you, I'm gonna do orange with drain. Why can't you do anything? Or why does it show up as a danger? Okay, well that didn't heal me. Because I have to heal the red first, right? Let's try, let's try that then. Probably if you don't kill me. Okay, there we go. We'll actually heal before we do anything else. Ignore. Actually, let's do a better heal. No, let's just do a regular heal. Oh, what? We can change these. Whoa. 
Okay, didn't know that. Why did it heal that? Whatever, I think we have a solid chance now. Don't quite get how all this works, but there, I did it. Yeah, I think I need an expert tutorial on this. I'll restore party and save. It's, it's gonna be good to remember to save every single time now. I do like the fact that I can start the video with that nice, very nice uh, metal rock music at the start. I like that. I'm gonna be doing that every single video, probably. <laughs> Starting it that way, I love it. Mushrooms? A woodlot with red cap mushrooms. Can I not take any? A farm plot with various flowers. That is true. You're saying exactly what I'm looking at. Oh, hey, you're who, you're who I'm looking for. Five gold. Do you mind if I steal everything you have? Do you mind? Wait, it's blocked, probably. Dusty old tomes. Mostly on a forest flora and their potential for medicine. Also, oh, a healer. That would be nice. A journal filled with notes regarding flora development. A small pixie bed looks pretty comfy. A small wooden table, small wooden table containing various herbs and lab equipment. Yeah, but can I loot these barrels? Barrels that contain drinking water. Okay, well, maybe not. Hey, Jeremy. Good to see you. What brings you to my shop? I'm taking a short break from your from work. Do you mind if I if we hang out for a while? Not at all. I could really use a break as well. How's your research coming along? It's fine for the most part, at least. What's the matter? I need to get some materials, but the place is really scary. Some say it's cursed. Let me guess. The stone shrine? How'd you know? I've been studying it myself. However, for different reasons. You're more interested in the botanical aspect, right? Yes, it's weird. There's a lot of rose symbolisms carved into the shrine, but no roses around. So my current hypothesis is that the rocks there might have something to do with it. I need to get a sample to be sure, but I'm a bit scared. I can help you if you want. Really? Thank you so much. That would help me a lot. Help me out a lot. Anything else? Well, I'd be more than happy to chat for a while before you go. What's in your mind? You. Anything interesting happening? Li happen, lady? Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Greenland scratches her head awkwardly, tries to avert Jer Jeremy's gaze. Ah, I understand. I thought y you'd be more persistent. You don't have to tell me. So. Anything else that- Jeremy, please don't tell anyone. Something bad is happening. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking about this, but it's driving me nuts. Camilla spirals into uncontrollable babbling. Jeremy interrupts her by placing his hand over on her shoulder. Huh? Camilla. When was the last time you ate or slept? Camilla takes out the pocket mirror and notices her slightly baggy eyes and uncombed hair. Oh dear, I'm sorry. This is so embarrassing. Don't worry about it. Just try and take it easy. I, I can't. There's a lot of stuff going on lately, a lot of samples I've gathered just don't make sense. I spent the last couple of weeks working overtime trying to figure it out. I don't know anymore. I think I might be losing my touch. Mila lowers her head, letting out a troubled sigh. If there's anyone you can that can figure this stuff out, it's you. Really? You've done more for this forest than any other pixie in the last couple of years. You're just overworked. Take a break. Take your time. You'll figure it out. I just... Thank you, Jeremy. Ada and Moxie, I kinda wanna know a bit more about them. Oh dear, is Moxie bothering you again? Nothing I can handle. I'm a bit worried about her. She's been hanging out alone. Uh, 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 how? She's been hanging out with that scary woman a lot. Ada, you met her? Sadly, let's just say it wasn't very pleasant. I'm sure you're already aware, but Moxie is just in it for fun and games. She doesn't mean any harm. Can't say the same about Ada. There's something very sinister about her. Just be careful, alright? Alright. Pixies and nymphs. We are a graceful race that takes we are a graceful race that takes pride in polar magic and gardening. At least that's what I tell myself these days. <laughs> Pixies come in various shapes, sizes, and colors, depending on their birth flower. We also have various sister races like Cortinar, the Cortinar. Nymphs are a special form of Pixies, they just evolve to be taller. Saplings evolve into Pixies and then nymphs. Some become flora ma flora matriox, who take the role of the queen. However, some prefer to stay as pixie and never become nymphs. It has to do a lot with one's personality. I see. Floralist. 
I'm one of the many pixie floralists. I specialize in plants that contain healing properties. I run the small floral shop during the day and do my research in the late hours. And the floral gates? The pixie camp to the south most likely, uh, is most likely facing a minor threat. I haven't been there in a while, so I can't tell you much. It's a standard procedure, so don't worry about it. They disappear within a couple of days. Is there a way to dispel them early? Removing the gates isn't hard, however, there is a catch. Only the person that put up the gate can remove it. Your best bet is to seek out pixies who conjured the specific gate. I see. See you later. You're not coming along? Along? It would actually be really helpful if you came along with me, but okay. I guess I'm on my own then. Uh, let's see. Journal. Get a rock sample near the stone shrine and begin back to Camilla. All right. Where's the Where's the stone shrine? I'd like to know. I'm full HP, right? Yeah, I could do a fight. Here? Oh, this. Alright, this should do it. Now to get the sample back to Camilla. That's very concerning sound. Oh, Ada. Give me the book. It's a scribble. It's a, it's a scribe. You'll have to be a bit more specific. Don't play dumb with me, nerd. Give me the Ignis Codex. It is rightfully mine. Unless you can verify your ownership, I'm now going to hand over an ancient relic to verify this. Now leaving without a book. Expert combat, here we go. It is important to take note that stacking status effects has diminishing returns. Each new stack applies only 30% of the new value applied. Okay, what's the status effect? <laughs> Investing in attack gems gives you more chances to deal damage to enemies. Investing in speed gems gives you a higher turn initiative and chance to land a critical strike, multiplying all values by two. So, attack gems, more chance to deal damage to enemies. Okay. Speed, higher turn initiative, and chance to land multiple strike. Okay, what was the speed one? What was the... I don't remember what, would, what they were. Investing in defense gems gives you more chance to heal and buff yourself and your allies. Depending on the type of combat move you make, one gem will be depleted. Attack moves like dealing damage deplete one attack gem. Defense moves like healing deplete one defense gem. Speed gems are the exception, they are not depleted and they serve as turn initiative and critical slash miss strike pool. When a critical strike occurs, the battle area will shake briefly and your units will use more powerful, more powerful attack and defense animations. If you have more speed gems than your enemy, you have a higher chance of moving first in the round or landing a critical strike. Also, you are less likely to miss your attack. On the other hand, if the enemies have a high chance of... On the other hand, the enemies have a high chance of missing because they are slower. Note that if you miss your combat move, one of the gem's colors will be depleted. The same mechanic applies to enemies in relation to you and your party members. Note that this depletion mechanic is not active if you have a single health gem left. One last thing to about attack def and defense health gems. If you have none left, special states apply that unit. If a unit runs out of if you a unit runs out of attack gems, they can still issue attacks, but they have a 50% chance to miss. The same effect applies for healing if you run out of defense gems. If an enemy shatters all your speed gems, you'll always move second and will be unable to land critical hits. Also, your chance to miss your combat move will increase dramatically. When it comes down to items, they can be used often or to handle specific turn scenarios. Decide what, what playstyle suits you best. Note that item values scale, scale with party level. After every turn, your power bar increases by 1 point. 3 points if you land a crit or knock the enemy out. You can spend points to enhance your moves with modifiers. Select and confirm a modifier to use it in your move. You have enough power points, that is. Modifiers boost your combat moves. Check the descriptions, most self-explanatory. Last but not least, the features. Every unit has a set of features, that's what I want to know about. That make them unique. Access the feature menu via the feature slot. By opening the features menu, you can inspect all the available feature categories. There are five distinct groups containing three features each. You can cycle through the features by using left or right arrows on a Key, arrow keys or d-pad. Take note that your, of your enemy's movements, facial expressions, and attack animations. They can give you a lot of info about potential features. Sometimes it must be, it might be hard if your enemies are horrific abominations, but try your best. If you guess the feature, it will be added to the party's feature bar. For every feature that is revealed, all damage values that follow are additionally increased by 20%. You can remove enemy inflicted feature debuffs from your party by using a heal command. Note that you can only apply one feature from each category. The best way to think of combat is that it's modular. You construct your battle your battle command with different sets of instructions. Modifiers and features are always optional, only an action is needed to issue a, a battle modifier. One last thing regarding modifiers. They use a, 
Enemy use them in a different fashion. Enemy units use modifiers based on a chance system, so the power bar serves a special purpose. Once the enemy power bar reaches 10 points, enemy units can use their powerful special attacks. The action modifier and feature hints will be hidden for that turn. Enemy special attacks can't miss and override all modifiers, penalties, or battle conditions, so be careful during that turn. Last but not least are battle conditions. When a new turn begins, there's a chance a battle condition will appear in the confirmation slot. These can be applied to one, to one party or both at the same time. There are three of them. From left to right, attack boost, defense boost, and invulnerable. Attack boost doubles the damage values which that unit deals. Defense do boost do doubles the heal which that unit deals. Invulnerable reduces all incoming non-special attack command value to zero for that round. Okay, that's it for all the combat mechanics. If you are left a bit confused after all this, don't worry, after a couple of battles you'll get the hang of it. If you still struggle with some concepts, feel free to revisit the combat tutorials from the options section in the game menu. Hey, don't ignore, ignore me, you insolent worm. I'll teach you some manners. Alright, I got a better understanding of how this works. That's great. So, she seems... Um, she seems chaotic. So we'll go with that. That's a pretty safe bet, right? Bet. Are you telling me she's not chaotic? She's not. Wow. She's gonna guess nerd, because I am a nerd. Okay, well then, let's take down her defense. Strength, agility, intelligence, definitely strength. Right? Or speed. Yeah, she's not. She's not fast. And she definitely. I don't think she's intelligent. So let's try to strength. Yep, I was right, right about strength. It's weird that she's not chaotic. She really does feel that way. But you know, neutral or lawful. I don't know. Physical, both magical. Uh, she seems pretty magical, if you ask me. So let's try that. Yep, I was right about that. Nice. I, now that I understand those, it's really nice to have them. I'm gonna do this with ignore, probably. Insane, emotional, rational. External, indifferent, internal. I don't know about that, but neutral. She cannot be lawful. By the way, she goes. She's lawful? How? I mean, maybe it's her story, but yeah. Flame crystal. Hey, Henry leveled up. It's like you can put up a fight after all. Too bad you're gonna... Give me that damn book. What the hell was that? Stop with these cheap tricks and fight with honor, you rat. Ada, behind you. Yeah, right, like I'm gonna fall for the other trick in the... What the? What the hell just happened? What is this? Ada, please be quiet. This place is... Ada hits the poor scribe. What's wrong with you, woman? Get me out of here at once. Hush, this isn't a game anymore. You have no idea how dangerous this place really is. Now, unless you calm down, you'll attract unwanted attention. That's the last thing we want. Calm down, you... Not good. Oh no. As you place your hand on the orb, your wounds heal. The melancholia, melancholia, melancholia feels good. Yeah. Okay, that's a heal, and we have her in our party now. Skill points. Let's spend one. I'd like. Okay, so speed is orange, defense is brown, and attack is red. I see. Maybe one more in defense and uh, damage would be good, and then I'll probably put one point into speed next. Alright, but what about, uh, what about Ada? Here we go. Four points I can put in. I'd like to boost your damage a bit. I'd like to boost your defense by one. Is that all we have? No, we still have one left. What's purge? I don't know what purge is. Um, probably give you... Another damage, maybe? Since I can change these at any time, you know? Gear. Crude weapon, crude armor. Yeah, not exactly a lot you have in terms of options. Um, What's the flame crystal? Imbued with fire magic, when crushed, produces a lot of heat. I see. 
find a way out of the strange world. We're gonna save before we do anything else. Okay, there we go. The law has been broken. An unidentified cog in the machine. The crimson bones march forward, left, right, left. The law has been broken. An unidentified cog in the machine. Equilibrium must be restored. Sentry. Sentries. The alert the others. Ada. If there's any time for murder, now would be it. Finally. Whoa. They look fucking cool. Start with this. So, this would probably be lawful, right? Because they obey laws and everything. Yeah, correct. Okay, I'm right about that. That is a hex, de a hex decimal code, isn't it? Oh, there's two of you. Is there? Yeah, there is two of you. But it's the same units, I guess they stack the effects. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with... We can't do ignore. Shit. You're definitely physical. Do we miss? We missed. And also, they're not physical. Well, maybe because we, we missed, it, it didn't. Okay. Um. Do this. And do... I think since it's the sentries, there should be strength, right? Missed. Shit. Ada's lawful? You think so? Hmm. Rational. Rational thinking, definitely. No? You mean to say chaotic and their sentries? Okay. I'm gonna heal my uh, my damage here. Here we go. Alright, so if you're not rational, then you're insane. Oh, he doesn't take damage this turn, actually. Let's just heal. Don't do anything here. But... I would be right to guess insane, right? Yeah, I know. We'll do this. What could I guess against you? Physical, I could guess that again. There, I nailed them. It's not physical, though. Are they magical and physical? Let's try that. Ignore, maybe? Both. Let's try that. It wasn't both. I don't know. They're definitely not magical, though. I'm gonna go back and heal. Also save again. What are you? Oh, prosecutor. Get this thing off of me. Wait, it's you. This is all your fault. Oh, yeah, actually, I should give him the proper voice. I, I Wait, wait, so what I was doing it was... Get this thing off of me. Wait, it's you. This is all your fault. Point that finger at me again, I dare you. Floating freak, not you, mongrel. Uh, the mongrel. Mongrel? The law is clear. You are still her accomplice. How do you plead? No contest. Very well then. Your plead will be reported to 446F6E27246426B. Two, two, that, hold on. Can we, um. Can we take the time to translate that from hexadecimal? Hexadecimal, I mean. Um, hexadecimal to text. Here we go. No, if you put hexadecimal in the game, I am translating it. I don't fucking care. It's gonna be a 4-4. Four, 6-F. Four, six 6-E. Six it's gonna take a second, so let me just... I guess do something in the meantime. Uh, I don't know why exactly we're talking in decimal... Hexadecimal, but I guess we are. Um, I can respond to you in hexadecimal if you want. I, I doubt you'd want that, though. Uh, okay. 6C. 20. 74. Am I interrupting the gameplay? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. I don't know why you'd think that. 
only that I'm slowly typing on my phone this entire code so that I know what he's talking about. Who is he submitting this info to? Watch, it's just gonna be like called the council or something. Uh, 6 4, 6 5, 6 5, 7 2, 2 1. Or maybe 2 i, but I can't tell because of the font. If it's not 2 1, I'll try 2 i. Convert. Don't kill the reindeer. Okay, sure. The law has been broken. An unidentified cog in the machine. Trial and progress. Oh, hey. What's up, boy? Right, so you are definitely lawful. No doubt about that. Very good. So he is lawful. We're gonna do throwing knives, actually. Uh, with... Focus. Um... I would say you're based on strength, right? Maybe not, though. Let's try. You are. That did a lot of damage. And... Maybe guard. Yeah, maybe nothing, actually. I don't need anything there. I'm gonna guess that he is rational. Was my guess correct? No. Okay. What the hell was that thing? Denizens. Look it up. We have to... I gotta say, I didn't expect a pansy like yourself to get involved in this kind of business. What'd you expect, lady? Excuse me? As an expert in fire magic, I need Ignis Codex. You're a vile demon, no? Call me a demon again, I'll snap your spine like a twig. It looks like you're, you're not the only one. Come on, we have to go. That switch ahead should be of use. Switch seems to be stuck. Well, that's not good. Putting in a code? What am I doing? All right, let me heal up. Let me put some points in. My skills. Let's see here. We're gonna put one more into... Speed, I think. And then for Ada, we're gonna put one more into... Uh, defense. Here we go. Oh, I think I did it. What'd that do? Not down here, probably the right then. Here? Sure, what's this? Looks like dead end. Has to be an exit here somewhere. Come on, let's go. Ada? What is this place? There's a whole ocean in here. What the? The waves are crashing at the shore, but they aren't making any noise. It's not safe here. We need to get... Jeremy turns around and notices the door has disappeared. Out of here. This is really bad, Ada. Let me find a way out of here. There has to be a door somewhere. Ada? Imagine if you fell in there. All that water around you, stretching the horizon. Everywhere you turn, nothing but water. No way out. Maybe... Maybe just a quick swim, huh? Ada slowly starts walking the shore, but Jeremy grabs her hand. No, focus, woman. Jeremy pulls her closer and holds her arm. Ada, snap out of it. What? What am I doing here? Sunset is beautiful, isn't it? Maybe it's the sunrise, maybe it's... Uh-oh. Jeremy shakes his head, trying to keep it together. I'm sorry, I need to go. Ada, don't. This place is nothing but misery. There's nothing there for us. This place messes with you. Snap out of it, Ada. Please don't be angry at me, but I really must be going now. Jeremy tightens his grip. Listen to me, woman. I'm not going to lose you here. Why not? Uh, 
There's a bit of... Um... Oh yeah, we might have brought a bit of unwanted attention to ourselves. Please let go. I don't want to keep going. Don't say that. I'm self-centered, arrogant, jealous, impulsive, violent. Are, there, are these all her traits? Screenshotted. <laughs> no, if I ever have to fight her, fight her again, I will actually bring up the screenshot. Impulsive, violent, and self-centered I know are actual traits. I don't have any good qualities. Be honest with me. That's not true. That's not true. You got a good body. <laughs> don't say that. You always have a choice. Everyone has the potential to do good in their life. Also, I have to be honest. You're kind of hot. Exactly, man. Exactly. I'm not joking. My hand is burning. You marsh... Okay, well... You marsh demons are really hot to touch. What'd you call me? Demon? Just so happens you are, though. My aching head. Was punching me really necessary? Um, Ada? I want a break. Wait a minute. Jeremy grabs his head and lets, lets out a concerned sigh. Oh no, not this thing. This is really bad, Ada. Ada throws a broken handle at him. Hey! I'm terribly sorry, my hand slipped. Are you always this violent? Show what that violent... I show you violent real soon if you don't break this chain. Alright, alright. Take it easy. Listen, about the chain, physical weapons don't work. Is it... Isn't it a life chain if one dies, the other dies? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Wait, you tried a shovel? Shut up, violence solves everything. I just need a bigger axe. Ah, screw this, I'm just gonna blast it with fire until it melts. Wait, the heat will transfer through and... I'll get badly injured, so? Listen, this is serious. We're under a, a binding curse. Curse? usually has a build-up time before becoming permanent, so you need to act fast. If you don't want to be chained to a nerd for the rest of your life, I advise we cooperate to resolve this. Hold on, how do you know- how do I know I can trust you? For all I know, this could be one of your magic tricks. Don't be silly, why would I want to chain myself to a crazy woman? Why are you calling crazy? Bad choice of words, just calm down. I can exclaim. I, I can ex explain. I've been researching this place for some time now. I've ran into weird stuff. Managed to dis dispel the previous accents, and I think I know how to fix this one. In any case, we are wasting precious time. Can you please cooperate? Fine, for now. We need to get this rock back to Camilla. She has something that might help. Are we actually chained? Oh, we're not. Disappointing. I understand why, though. There's that element. Am I not in my full resolution? Whoa, 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 I'm messing with the resolution of the game. I shouldn't be doing that. Sorry. Here we go. It doesn't have my resolution. It doesn't have 1440p. To, so I was just wondering if I actually could set it to that, but I can't. So, you know, that's cool. No skills, okay. You could call it a skill issue. Restore party, and then save. Sorry for that. Oh. Um, little thing with the window size. Let me do that. There we go. Let's try a fight here. So, they seem to be focused on strength. Actually, no, agility. Yeah, agility is definitely it. Pixie Warrior, there we go. You're gonna be focused on strength. Yeah, I'm right about that. You'd be focused on agility, right? Recon. You didn't even heal yourself. Heal yourself. Do attack, ignore, and you are definitely physical. There, you're dead. And now you, uh, probably guard, or actually no, focus. They seem to be emotional. I don't know why. They have that look about them. 
I was right. There we go. Poison Heart and Band-Aid. We could do another one before we save again and heal. Here we go. You know, act quickly and all that, but... Who was actually gonna do that? Why are you healing yourself before you even have... You just... Instead of healing yourself, you kind of took damage. Instead. Which is, you know, great choice, I guess. Can we ignore? We can't ignore. Shit. That kind of sucks. Well then, let's just get strength, I guess. Well, I could heal you, actually. Attack. Ignore, maybe. And... You are physical. By all means. Slice and dice. Okay. You're dead. Good. You are physical. Let's attack you. With ignore. And you're definitely focused on strength. Yeah, you see, now that I understand this, this is so much easier. The tutorials... The tutorial is just... Some of them are badly placed. The one... The expert tutorial is long. The expert combat tutorial is... It's long to read, right? You might want to skip through it, but it's very helpful. And it's well placed. At a good time, you know? The first tutorial um, is very badly placed because it's it, it kind of ruins the mood of the whole start of the game. That's really I'm, what I'm complaining about. It's not the fact that the tutorials are too specific or that there's too many of them. It's just that some of them ruin the pace, you know? You, you, you're going into a certain, like, hype about something. You're, you have curiosity about something, you know? And then, and then it's like, hey, here's a tutorial on how to fight. Here's a tutorial on how to use your menu. Here's a tutorial on interacting with the medium around you. It's... They're needed, right? You, you want to have them, but could you do it like a few seconds later after something happens, or could you do it when things calm down or before things happen? Or yeah, it, it, it's it's um not really that much of a deal, but deal breaker. But you know, it's something that I would uh, focus on. Ooh, actually, I want to try this. Oh, you're definitely magic. Absolutely. Uh, where is it? No intelligence, probably actually though. But no, I'll, I'll take the guess of magical. There we go. Crit too, but that doesn't help. Okay, you are... Agility, and probably just ignore. Oh, I don't take damage this time, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, you're dead. We're doing that crit stuff. Uh, we're gonna ignore here as well, but... Uh... Since you're a warrior, you're gonna have strength, absolutely. There's three of them, huh? Disarm. That's fine. I don't take damage, so we're gonna do this with... The next action is applied to all the enemies or allies. We'll do that area. Here we go. Uh, so you're magical, right? You must be intelligence. You must. No shot. Yeah. Good. Uh, do this with ignore, because you're probably going to kill if you do that. You're physical. There we go, you're dead. But you are physical. Uh, and here you go, it just doesn't matter at this point. I guess do... Guard. Um, you're going to heal, actually. Let's do ignore, then. Because it's gonna do enough damage. There we go. Razor Leaf. Party has reached level 6. Very good, very good. Love that. Let's actually put some more skill points. I want defense on you. No, I want speed on you. Actually. Actually, I don't want I want I don't want damage over time. I want damage and uh I want speed. There we go. And you you need one in speed as well. I like the crits. Crits are very good. Restore my party, and then we'll save and head on the next uh, next stuff that we can do. Here we go. So over to Camilla's house, right? Okay. Hey, Camilla. 
Here's the rock sample you're looking for. Thank you, Jeremy. You're the best. Oh, I see you brought company. Hello, I'm... Ah, uh, it's her. Run for your life, Jeremy. Don't worry, Camilla. She's not gonna... Please don't burn my house to down like last time. Ugh, give me a break. It was an accident. You're good with hibisca, so I don't plan on hurting you. Oh, that's a relief. Yet. <laughs> Wait a minute. How do you know hibisca? Why don't you ask her, you little... <laughs> Ada. Whatever. Do your magic, nerd. Camilla, do you have a spare blood rose by chance? Well, I'm running low, but I think I can give you one. One is enough. Alright. But would you mind helping me again? I'm listening. A group of pixie troublemakers took over my basement, and I'm not really looking... I'm not really the fighting type. How'd that happen? They're a band of thieves that have a network of secret tunnels around the forest. Recently, they dug one into my basement, and they're stealing my supplies. Can you please get rid of them? Sounds easy enough. Ugh. We don't have time for cops and robbers. Don't worry, this shouldn't take long. Once we have the blood rose, we just need to take it back to the shrine. Or we could just take a shortcut. Shortcut? Help Camilla, bully Camilla? Help Camilla. I get Ada, but like... She's gonna enjoy fighting anyway, right? She, she loves fighting. So, help her. Ada, I know you're under a lot of stress. Would breaking a few pixie kneecaps make you feel better? Spare me, nerd. I know what you're trying to do. Consider yourself lucky that I'm in the mood to waste some fools. Waste some fools. Splendid, Camilla. Point the way. Thank you, Jeremy. I'll remove the floor of the gate leading to the basement. Good luck. Yes, yes. I knew she would be easy to trick. I mean, she makes herself out like, oh, I'm not that easy to trick, you know? I know what you're doing, but like, in the end, you still get tricked. So let's, let's be honest here. Who's really getting tricked? Ladies. I would like to inform you that you are trespassing on private property. Please leave immediately immediately and in an orderly manner. The pixies point and laugh at the poor scribe. It's your funeral, ladies. Ada, I tell you to never ask. Here we go. Another fight. And we're gonna go with agility, because he definitely got that. I mean, I can guess agility for all of them. But I'm gonna guess... Um, Physical. With nothing here, I don't need it. Three, there we go. We crit there. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I don't take damage this turn, so that's great. Ignore, maybe. Um, and... You're definitely... You're chaotic, right? If you're stealing. If you're stealing, you might be chaotic. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's ignore as well here. Um, Emotional or rational? I feel like you would be emotional though, right? Yeah, you are. I don't know how, how I guess that. Just like... It feels like it would be the right answer. Here we go. High chance of crit. We're gonna guard then. And what would they... They'd be external, indifferent, or internal? Indifferent, probably. Am I right about, right about that? No, I'm not. Mm. Unlucky. Wait, did I not guess emotional correctly? Or was it just for one of you? What was that? You've got bonus defense, but it doesn't matter. It is emotional, yeah. That's weird. I'm actually gonna... Guard here. I don't want to take extra damage for no reason. Then, maybe internal. It is internal, okay. I've guessed all of their traits. And I guess just guard as well here. There. Done. We got a quite a bit of items, quite a few on a few items. You know, I hate to admit it, but you're right. Wasting those pixies did make me feel a little bit better. Ada stares at Jeremy, tapping her foot, waiting for something. Something wrong? This is the part where you admit I was right too. You've made a lot of interesting claims in the short time we spent together. You'll have to be a bit more specific. Violence does in fact solve everything. Whilst that may be true, I'm not sure that I'm glad we understand each other. Hey. Come on. Common uh, agreements, right? I, I agree that violence solves everything. 
at least in this game. Probably. Um, but I am out of time for this episode. Exactly at 45 minutes, surprisingly. I was expecting to go over it a bit a little bit, but that fight took exactly as long as it should have. So, I am gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. I sure enjoyed this one a lot more. I don't know how I fit so much stuff into one episode when last time I fit so little. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It, it just kind of fit. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Um, right. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.